Hey guys! Today I'm going to do a tutorial about the common origami base, the water bomb base. Um, this is the base that's used for several different models. And what you do with this base is you start out by making this and then you go on to make the different models. Um, this one is actually a triangle. It's used to make things like the water bomb. And a lot of children's toys use the water bomb base to start out. So, let's get started. Okay, so you can see here I'm using a square piece of paper. And really it doesn't matter what size you use as long as you're using a perfect square. And if you don't know how to make a perfect square and you have a rectangle piece of paper, like a piece of printer paper, you're just going to go ahead and fold a triangle out of it. Pretend this is a rectangle. And then you just cut along the line that you made. And that'll make a perfect square because two triangles make a square. Okay. So to do this, you're going to start out with the white side facing up. If you don't have a white side, just choose whatever side you want to be the back. But if you have a white side, the other side is going to be a colored side. And you want that to show up in the finished model. So start with the points facing towards you, the first point. And you're going to take that, and you're going to fold it up. You're going to do what's called a valley fold all the way up to the top. And you can see here, you want to try to make sure to get the points as perfect as possible, as closely matched as possible, to make sure that you have a clean finished model. Once you get that, you're going to go down and you're going to crease it. Sorry about the crazy noise, my paper apparently is slippery. So you have one triangle like this. And when you make a crease at the bottom like this, or anywhere, you want to make sure you always make it as as hard of a crease as possible to make sure you can see it. So now let's see if we can see it. We unfold that completely and you can see our crease is right along there. Now that we have that we're going to turn our piece of paper just one turn any direction it doesn't matter as long as the crease that you made just a second ago was facing up and down instead of sideways now. You're going to take your point and you're going to fold it up to the top just like we did last time. Make sure to get it as close to perfect as possible. And if you make a little mistake like I just did, you just go back and redo it. It'll be a little bit trickier the second time, but it's worth it to have a perfect clean model at the end instead of having something that looks like it was just a jumble of paper. Okay, so that's our second triangle, and we're going to do the same thing and unfold it. Now you can see we've got our two creases, our one going up and down and our one going side to side. And we're going to take and we're just going to flip the paper over so that the colored side or the other side, the back, is now showing. And we're going to turn it so that we don't have a, a point facing us this time, we're just going to have one of the edges facing us. We're going to take and we're going to fold that just like we did with the triangles, but this time it's going to make a rectangle because we're going to connect both of the points at the top. Remember to make sure that they're connected as good as possible. We're going to crease and we're going to open it back up. So you can see now we have our two triangle creases making an X and our rectangle crease going across the middle. We're going to take and we're going to flip our paper over one more time and this time don't flatten it down. Make sure the crease is still nice and strong at the top so that it makes kind of like a little tent shape. Now you can see where the two triangle creases go across the middle and where they meet the rectangle crease is the direct center of the paper. You're going to take and you're going to just push down on that with your finger so that these two points pop up and you're going to take those and you're going to make them meet right down here in the center of the paper. Like that and like that. And if you're not sure exactly how to get them to the center, the creases that you made earlier for the triangle creases are your guide to help you. That's why those are there. They help you meet right where you need to. So you just crease right along those again. But just for one of the triangles, just for half of it, you want to make sure you still have this open white part at the top, or the open bubble, I guess it looks like. You're going to go through and crease the center. And you're just going to push down on the top, and it'll make a triangle right at the top. So that's the finished water bomb base. You can see that it's actually not one triangle, but really just four interlocking triangles. So if you were 
coming here to go finish another model, you can at this point go finish another model. Most models will tell you whether they want you to have where you have one open on one side or one on the other side. Most of them start you out having um, two on each side, two of the flaps. Um, but you want to make sure you look at the model to tell how that wants you to start out. And that's it, guys. Have a great day.